Google Web Toolkit Selenium Setup by Brandon Donaldson. First, let's create a Java project that we can run our Selenium test in. Next, I convert the project to a Maven project. Go to Configure, Convert to Maven Project. We'll use the palm.xml to download the dependencies. After this, go to my written instructions to copy the dependencies. I copy the dependencies and I add them to the XML source. This will trigger the dependencies to download. Once they download, we'll create a source folder or container for our tests. Let's create a new package. You can name it whatever you like. And then I'll create a class for a simple setup. Once the class is ready, I'll copy the source in my instructions minus the package. Replace the source, but we'll have to change a few things. First, we'll add JUnit to our build path. Go to Libraries, Add Library, JUnit, JUnit 4. Next, we'll need to rename the class and change a few paths. We need the web driver or Chrome web driver. I'm using a Mac, so I need to download the Mac driver. I like to copy this and stick it in a bin directory in my user directory. Once that's complete, I'd like to get the path by using git info. Change the path to the Chrome driver. Next, Chrome driver loads up with no plugins, so we need to load it with the GDOBT dev mode plugin. But we need the path, so we go to Chrome plugins, details, it shows the paths to the plugin, copy the path, and add it to our source. Of course, you probably will need to load other plugins if you have Flash or etc. Next, we need to change the path to our application. You could do this with any other any application, but right here we have a Google Web Toolkit. Copy that. This will navigate to the application, loads the Chrome driver, and navigates. Obviously there's more you can do with Selenium, but this is all about setup. Once we run the project, let's run the unit test.
It quickly loads the Chrome driver and navigates to the page we directed. That was a quick example of how to set up Selenium. In my instructions I list a few other techniques. For instance, you could use Ensure Debug ID, but you have to inherit the debug project in your project XML. Also to note, if you load a page, you'll need to wait. Thanks for watching. See more on gwtexamples.com.